Mikey Rose had a great season for Wexford, their top goal scorer with 11 first division goals. He's only missed one league game. Stepping forward from the back now, Irish underage international James Crawford. Crawford, that's a good ball in towards Aaron Dobbs and that's a huge chance, particularly for a striker of his standards. Actually launched this in, not like his... I was going to say something, I can't remember the word for the same name. Person like Darrow O'Shea for Ireland. <laughs> It's a good long throw in and the goalkeepers oh, let it bounce inside the six yard box and that's a huge let off there for Wexford FC. Jesus. That's... Corbali keeps it in play and this is a chance for Webb. And both managers will be furious with their defences for letting that ball bounce inside the penalty area in the last couple of moments. But neither attack able to capitalise. That looks like a foul referee. Doesn't give it. He plays the advantage. In fact, Rowe peeling for the corner but that goes behind for a goal kick. An all-action start to this game. Norris manages to get the ball back to Adeyemo. He takes it down inside the penalty area. Another good ball to find Norris again. Norris drives it inside. Adeyemo, that's a great touch. Can he finish it? Off the post. There's the rebound. It's over the bar. It'll go behind for a corner. That looks like a heroic piece of defending from Louis Temple to deny Carl Chambers a goal against his former side. And to Isamala. Now Wex are guilty of turning over cheap possession. Norris. Beats Isamala, looking for Adeyemo, losses footing at a crucial time. Connor Crowley just opens up the pitch nicely there. Good composed player from the midfielder. That's a good ball in behind for Dobbs. Dobbs gets to it first. Halwick's got something on it. That's a brilliant save. No, it's not Reese Webb. Uh, it's Mikey Rowe, the other player, standing over this dead ball. A hush in the ground before this free kick comes in. Could be no hushing. It's going to be Rowe to take. It's a lovely float, a ball and Dobbs, deja vu. He had a chance like that in the first couple of minutes of the game and he floated his head over the bar and again he could get it down on the chest, gives it back to Egan who just clears his lines. Probably not a bad idea, Longford just under the caution in the last couple of minutes. Topku, that's a lovely little touch to get inside Connor Crowley. Topku driving forward, Crowley yeah. stretches out and that's surely going to be a yellow card, indeed it is. Yeah. Unfortunately, we saw here last week a, a challenge in from, from that, like we'll say it was probably a fair chance first free kick of the night but the likes of Jordan Adeyemo and Emre Topku are also standing by as well but it looks like it'll be Norris against a four man wall net minded by Connor Walsh it is Norris he struck it well that's the side netting nice little spin from Wickstead good pass into Chambers feet it's a good move from Longford Town can they progress it from here Adeyemo just waiting for support he finds the on rushing Kyle O'Connor, Wexford have dropped off Carl Chambers here. Chambers sees Adeyemo making a good run beyond the ball. Adeyemo! The angle was just too much for him. Great ball in there. That was absolutely fantastic. The latest player to lose his footing. I don't think there was too much rain down here today, but a lot no. of players struggling to stay upright. Norris now looking to keep his balance as he drives into the area and he finds the back of the net to give Longford Town the lead. Another goal by Daniel Norris. All he needed to do was come to Longford Town and he has started his goal account. That was very poor from Wexford. Couldn't clear it. Park now and he's only missed one first division game so far this season. That was through suspension. So he's been a key part of James Keddie's team down there. And he's won them this free kick. Oh, which Mikey Rowe will up. again take. Rowe gives the signal. Rowe hangs it up towards the back post. And first contact there again came from a Wexford player. That was Louis Temple. Couldn't get So from a throw into a corner, Wex returning up the pressure. Decent ball, but well oh. headed away by Topku. Helped back inside by Corbilly. It's a Malik tries to get up for it, and there's a header on goal. What a save from Harry Halwax. My goodness. That was a wonderful save by Harry Halwax. It was kind of looping over him. There wasn't much pace in it. Wickstead. The Chambers. Get in the mixer, somebody. It's a nice little oh, lovely. exchange of passes oh. over on the far side. Here comes the cross now. Norris gets Ooh. up, and I think Norris got something on that, you know. Maybe not, because it's been given as a corner. No. Oh, did that come off the arm of Yoro? There was only one appeal out the back there from a Wexford player. Nobody else flinched. 
Oh, and that's an under-hit back pass. Can Jordan Adeyemo get onto it? Has there been contact made? Yep. There has. The referee has, has a big decision to has make. To he reaches to the back pocket. Oh, and O'Shea. And it's going to be a red card for Conor Walsh. In an all too dis familiar position from where he scored from a couple of weeks ago, Norris. Four man wall. But it's going to be Adeyemo! Yes! The customary goal for Jordan Adeyemo! The gritty is back. Game in charge along for town against Wexford. One of those 2 2 draws we talked about. That was when he was interim boss. He's obviously since been made permanent boss here at Longford. And oh. He might be about to get more points against Wexford tonight. Longford Town a chance to put the icing on the cake. It's 3 0. And it's Jordan Adeyemo. The gritty is back. Look at that again. Can't, what a lovely bit of play by Longford Town. Fully deserving of the three points.